happy Tuesday. It's the last Tuesday of the month today of April. I'm going to just make sure everything is good here. Everything looks good. All right. So there it is. I can see comments. I hope you guys are having a great day. The last Tuesday of the month for me means that it is virtual card class day. So every time it's Tuesday and it's the last day of the month, the last Tuesday of the month, we do a little virtual card class together. And if you've ordered, usually I do it a little differently. Usually if you order from the day of virtual card class to the Friday, so Tuesday to Friday of that week, then you'll get your card kits for free. However, this month I decided anybody that ordered with me this month um, in the month of April is going to get these card kits. Um, you just need to use the host code and you'll be able to get these with your order. If you've already ordered, hey Tiffany, um, you will get them um, automatically because I didn't promote it at the beginning, but I'm still going to send them to all of you. If your order is over 50, I will also include the embellishment I used um, and you'll get the card kits to boot. So let's go ahead and get started. I've got three cards to share with you today. So I'm going to switch this around and we'll make sure everything is good. You can see the cards there. I'm going to try and zoom in whoop, a little bit. Sorry. Hang on, there we go. Okay, so these this is the bundle that we're using. We'll do this first. So this is the bundle. This is one of the online exclusives that it, <laughs> the online exclusives that was introduced in March, in the beginning of March. So this is a new thing Stampin' Up is doing. Um, every it's like every other basically every other month we're going to have new every month we kind of have new stuff but it's like every third month i actually think that we have online exclusives so um i think the next the next set of them will be released in july but um their items are not in any of our publications but you can order them online so you'll definitely want to check out that section of the website whenever you're there but this one's really cute i bought this because um, it's going to work perfectly for my um, hawaii and my uh, wedding album since we got married in hawaii so i bought it for that but i also just love it so i wanted to do a set of cards with it so i'll show you what i did we're going to switch them up a little bit because I took out the Evening Evergreen on this sample, the one we're gonna to do today, just because that color is retired and I didn't have a whole lot of cardstock left for it. So uh, I needed to switch it up. So I switched those to pink to match the other cards too, because that makes me happy when they coordinate. So here are the three cards we're gonna to make today. We're gonna to do a couple of different, well, just one, I guess, one technique here. We're gonna do um, layer stamp. Usually it's triple layer, but I only did a double layer. So it's double layer stamping here and I'll show you how to do that. And then we'll do a little distressing on this one. Um, and this one's embossed, but um, I pre-did that. So let's go ahead and get started. So I'm going to start with that last one I just showed you, the pink and crumb cake one. I love this color combo. Pink and green is just really pretty together anyway. Um, and then you add in the crumb cake and I'm in heaven. So let's go ahead and set up our um, stamps. So I'm going to do, what I love about this stamp set is it is two-step stamping. So I'm going to set up my leaf and the veining. So I actually need two blocks here. So I'm going to pick up this one. And I'm going to pick up this one. All right. So the colors you're going to need if you're going to stamp the way I stamp these, um, Flirty Flamingo, Granny Apple Green, and Memento Black. So we'll start with the pink. And of course, if you get the card kits and you don't have this stamp set, that's totally fine. You can absolutely do whatever color you want. So um, I'm going to go ahead and ink this up in the Flirty Flamingo. But before I stamp it on my cardstock, I'm going to stamp it off here on my grid paper because I want it to be a little bit lighter and then I'm going to stamp it there okay while I have the pink out I'm going to go ahead and take that veining piece and I'm going to stamp that right over on top so it's got the two different colors okay so now because I'm going to use the same stamp set I want to go ahead and clean those off 
I'm going to take the pink off. This is the Simply Chamois. I love my chamois. This one needs to be washed desperately. It's a little stinky um, and well-loved, as you can see. All right, so now I'm going to take the Granny Apple Green. We're going to do the same thing. So I'm going to ink that up. I'm going to stamp it off. Whoop, I missed a little bit. So let me try that again. Stamp it off. There we go. And then we'll stamp it on here. And we'll do the vein over on top. You guys, I have been, while I'm cutting and prepping these, so I've cut and prepped most of these card kits already. So um, I'll ship out the ones that are not a $50 order with the kits like in the next couple of days because they're already cut and prepped for the most part. And then those of you that had a $50 order or more, I'll be putting in the order for the embellishments to go along with this next week. So while I've been cutting and prepping... I've been watching Bridgerton, which I had already watched the first season and then kind of forgot that the second season was released and it didn't catch me as quickly as the first season did. So I was kind of like, yeah, I don't really feel like watching that. But now I'm far enough in that I'm hooked. And I think another um, season is supposed to be coming out May 2nd, I believe. So I'm super excited. And now I really want to read the books too. Have any of you read the books or seen the series? It's just a fun fun series all right so I got those done now we need to do our sentiment so I'm gonna take the hello from this yes I am totally needing to read the books I'm kind of sad that I didn't read the books first because from what I understand the books have been around for quite some time um, and I just never knew about them. But if you guys are friends or friends, fans of, if you've ever heard of it, Once Upon a Book Club is one of my favorite um, ways to spoil myself. It's actually a book club where they send you the book and then they send you little gifts that you get to open. Like there's a little post-it note on the page where you get to open the gift. And so they did a Bridgerton series a while back and I'm really kicking myself that I didn't do that one but they do have um the books i think still available and they're really pretty like cute you know fancied up um versions of the books so i might order those for myself just because i want to read them and i love a good pretty book <laughs> i'm such a i've always been a book nerd although i don't read anywhere near as much as i should but i've been trying to be better this year so that's the plan that's going to be a reward of some sort when I accomplish something that I want to do. <laughs> Hi, Marianne. Okay, so now I'm just going to attach this little um, pink piece. I'm actually going to put it over here to this other pink piece, like so. And this is going to get put onto the card probably right about there looks good so i'm just eyeballing it from the original design so we're gonna just pop this on here i love this embossing folder this is the one i've been using a lot this one and the um, cross hatch one they are currently still not orderable but um hopefully they will be back soon they're listed as um may 1st so actually i think i might have put that too high but that's okay we'll do it Right about there looks good, I guess. And then we can pop that on up here. You know what? I'm going to move it down just a little bit. I think I can move it. Yeah. There we go. All right. Move it down just a little. And then I put these both down flat. I want the green one under the pink. So I'm going to kind of layer them at the same time so I can get them in the right spot. All right. So, I want the green one under here, and the pink one, oh, up there looks good. All right. Right on the edge, perfect. And then I'm going to pop up the sentiment. So, the books are fun, but you actually like the series better. Did you? Yeah, it's always interesting. I always like to read the books first just because I always feel like books are better. But sometimes you do get um, a series or um, a book that's done better in film. All right, so now I'm going to grab the um, twine. I'm using linen thread on this. So when you get the card kits, you'll get all the things you need to be able to 
um, finish up the cards. So I will cut you some linen thread. Um, you'll get the whole pack of embellishments. Unfortunately, I actually clean, spent the weekend, I spent Sunday really like cleaning my studio because of course we're getting new colors in the new catalog. And um, plus there's a whole bunch of stuff retiring. So I kind of cleaned out all the old and you know spruced up my studio a little bit. I still have some work to do. Um, but that means I took all my retired stuff home because I'm gonna do a mystery BOGO sale later. Um, so I took all of that stuff home so I could sort it and get it um, put together. But I took all of my old embellishments home too. And the one that I used on this is, it's still available. It's these cute little basic enamel dots. Um, but I don't have them to put on the cards today because they're at home. So I'm going to, I really like them with this set of cards. So I'm going to um, add them to the cards after the fact. But you'll get a full pack, assuming they're still available, which I think they are. Because they are a retiring item. So we never know when they'll sell out. So with that said, like I said, the new catalog is coming out May 2nd. Um, I will be sending out the catalogs later this week, I hope. Um, I'm waiting on all my new colors to come because I wanted to send a little swatch of the new colors to everybody that has is getting the new catalog from me. So I'm waiting for that order so that I can cut them all up and chop them up and get them in there. Um, so when I send that out, um, that will have that in it, hopefully. And then um, I will be cleaning out everything here. Um, well, I kind of already started. But yeah, so the new catalog starts May 2nd. And until that time, we have the last chance list, which has some stuff up to 60% off. So make sure you go check out the website between the online exclusives and the sale, there's still lots of good things to be had before the new catalog comes around. So here's card number one. We're gonna just swap this one out um, because this one has the little embellishments. So I love this. I love this design. I don't know why, it's just a really cute card that I really like. So that's that one. Okay, so let's do our next one, which starts with a thick whisper white card base. Um, and we're going to do um, tone on tone a little bit. And this is both mostly because I always like to stamp on a panel not directly onto my card whenever I can. Because that way if you mess up, you can just kind of flip the panel over or cut another piece and you're not ruining the base of your card. Particularly if you're doing a card that like you have a lot of work on it and then you have to stamp on it. Because then if you mess up and it's like the end of the process, now you're going to start all over and that's a pain in the bum. So I'm going to go ahead with this one. We're going to stamp the leaf again. Uh, this time in green. Did I do the green or the pink? I think I did the green last, right? Yep, I did. Okay. So this one's going to be in green. And what I did, and actually what I might do first is, and I used a different, I used the evening evergreen on this one. So I'm wondering mm -hmm. if I should use like mossy meadow first just to get, uh, you know, I'm just going to do stamping off. We're going to keep it simple. Let's do stamping off. So I'm going to go ahead and use this piece, which is the stems, and we're going to stamp those in the, uh, the granny apple green full strength. And then I'm going to stamp that here. Okay. And now we're going to go ahead and do the three leaves underneath. I'm going to stamp off again. And I'm just going to kind of stamp them here. We're going to do three. And I want them to kind of, it's okay that they overlap under here because we're going to cov the, cover them with some additional leaves. And we're going to do one over here. Oh, crud. <laughs> this is why you do it on this. So I could just flip it over and start over. But you know what? I'm going to let it ride. 
because we're going to actually put another thing over it. So I think it'll be fine. So now I'm going to do this over on top and just go right to our paper with this. This one will probably blend a little bit more, but it's fine. It still works. See? All right. So now I'm going to set that aside for a second and I'm going to do the same thing um, here. We're going to stamp off and I'm going to do two of these. We're going to stamp one this way and then I'm going to flip it and do one this way. And I'll, you'll see why in a second. And then I'm going to just ink up the center here and here. Okay, now, because it's got a punch with it, I can go ahead and do the punch. And that's why I put them back to back like that, so that I can just slip it right into my punch and punch that out. So I'll punch that, and then I'm going to turn it around and do the same thing. Oh, it's really, really close, but I think I can get it out of there. Okay, then we'll punch that. Okay. Now, we're going to kind of, oh, that's good to know, um, Cheryl. I'm going to just kind of put it like this, and then I'll pop this one up, I think. So we're just kind of making a little collection of leaves here. And you guys, I've been cutting way back on sugar lately. And just the last, just this week, actually. I mean, I've tried to do it more or less lately, but I haven't been that great. So I've been kind of having sugar every few days up until this week, which is only Tuesday, right? But I have not had a stitch of sugar and my head has been pounding all day today since this afternoon. And I'm like, oh, <laughs> I'm only on day two and I'm already having sugar withdrawal or in trouble, right? All right, so now I'm going to take this but I am like ridiculously addicted to sugar, so it needs to happen. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and do this. And I'm just gonna cut a banner end in both sides. And then I'll do this side. And I'm gonna layer this on top of the card but first we need to do a little linen thread so I'm gonna go ahead and take this and I'm gonna wrap it a couple times I love a good multiple wrap cut that and I have way more um, twine on one side than the other which it's fine because you know what I can move it when I'm done so I'm just going to go ahead and tie this here, even though I'm going to want the knot over here when I'm done, but we'll move it. Um, and then I'm going to tie my bow. I always like to tie a knot first, just gives you a little bit more stability. And then we'll floof up the bow, get it the way I want. Trim this down like that. And then I'm going to move it. So the best way I find to move it is to grab it and kind of slide it like that and then straighten it out I think it needs to go over just a little bit more there we go if you want it to stay positioned where it is you could um, use a glue dot but I'm not going to and I realized the reason why I lost my train of thought is I realized I forgot to do a step so I'm gonna distress the edge of this and I'm just gonna use my scissors to kind of rough up the edge a little bit it just adds a little something especially when you've got tone on tone just makes it stand off that base card a little bit a little more um, I also like to like emboss a layer sometimes just to give it a little lift off that page technically I should have done this before I tied my ribbon but you'll see I'm just gonna move that up then I can move it back when I'm done I've done this before you see this does make a little bit of a mess, so make sure you don't do it over any really nice clothes or anything. <laughs> and I'm going to go ahead and just do the bottom here. 
I think this is a really good technique to do when you're doing masculine cards. I don't know why. It just gives it kind of a grungy look, which I think is good for a masculine vibe. Move that down, and then we'll do this last edge. It's kind of like, hope it, well, I'm hoping it's not like chalk on a chalkboard for you guys right now. All right. Well, there we have that. Now, get this straight before I tape it down. And I'm going to do... It's so hard, Marianne. I just love sugar so much. Like, even today. Like, yesterday I did pretty good, but today... And it's hard here in the studio because I have so much of it from, like, pillow gifts and things like that. So, um... I have all sorts of stuff here and I'm like, nope, 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 don't need it. I did make a couple of like um, keto friendly kind of sugar free or no, they're not like regular sugar stuff that I can have when I get stuck. So that's what I'm relying on, but it's really hard. <laughs> it's really, really hard. I love my sugar. Next week is going to be kind of off the record because it is my birthday next weekend. Is it next week? Yeah, next weekend. So I'm like, okay. I need to have cake. So I'm kind of already planning to kind of jump ship that day. But I think that's acceptable, right? You're allowed to have cake on your birthday. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and just cut some of these edges because I want it to, um, like, over, what's the, not overlap, but um, what's the word I'm looking for, you guys? Kind of straddle, that's the word I was looking for. Straddle that little ribbon here. So I'm gonna put some at the top here, some at the, or some at the bottom, some at the top, like this. And then that way the ribbon can go right through the middle of those. And I'm gonna kind of stick that so it's right there, okay? And then we'll stamp our sentiment. Oh, see, coffee isn't a problem because I don't drink coffee. So, but I will say I always have, usually in the morning, I have a um, hot chocolate or I have a um, vanilla chai or a vanilla, yeah, latte, something like that. And so I haven't been able to have any of that because I haven't got all the tools to make one that's sugar-free yet. But I'm, I'm working on that because that's def a definite um, but it's hard. I get it. It's so hard, but I just need to do something cause I'm feeling like crud and we're going for a cruise in about a month. And the idea of putting a bathing suit on, <laughs> that's even scarier. All right. So I'm going to stamp the th thanks so much. I love this. Thanks so much. I think it's so pretty. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and I want that to be like right in the middle here. And rather than putting the adhesive here, I'm gonna put it on this. And that way I know I have it in the right spot. And I'll just tape that down here. Now, the last step for this is to add some bling, which of course I don't have, so we'll switch this out. And there we go. There is our finished project for that one. Two down. One more to go. I think the one last one is kind of the funnest, if that's a word. It's not really, but we're going to pretend it is. Um, because it uses a fun technique that you may or may not have seen. I've done it before, but it's been quite some time since I've done it. So I thought I would share it again. Usually it's triple stamping, but I'm going to just do double stamping. So it's really helpful if you have a... Um, Repositionable adhesive. I used to have some. I don't know where it all went. Um, actually, I do. Oh, is this one? This one's empty, but I think I have a refill. I'm going to use the repositionable. It just makes it a little easier. So, um, the idea of this stuff is that it does not stay put, which is good in this case. Uh, I just threw out the wrong thing. I want this thing. So, for this, what I'm going to do is I want this piece to be lined up in the middle of this piece, okay? So I'm just going to put a tiny bit of piece of the, remove, remove, <laughs> the removable kind. I don't know why I'm having so much trouble talking today. 
because we don't want these to stay stuck together forever. So that's why it's good to use a removable. If you don't have a removable, you can use a tiny bit of um, like regular adhesive, or you could even use a little bit of washi tape, washi tape or something. Um, just it's gotta be strategically placed so that it's not in your way. That's the only problem. So now I'm gonna take the granny apple green and we're gonna do some stamping on this. So it looks a little crooked, so I'm gonna move it over. It looks like my removable did not stick at all. There we go. All right, so I'm gonna take this and I am going to, oh, you know what I am gonna do? I'm gonna put something underneath here just because you need a little bit more oomph because you're gonna be stamping over like a little lip here, which is not always easy. So I'm gonna go ahead, do this. I will say this technique is very forgiving, so don't freak out, because you'll see in a second. See how it's got that line? Totally gonna be fine, and I'll show you why in a few minutes. All right, so I'm actually gonna do a mix of the large and the small. So I'm gonna do a few of these large ones here. Okay. And then we'll do one more over here of off the page here like that all right and then I'm going to also do there's a littler leaf in here littler I've got all the kinds of words today and I'm gonna do that one too so we'll stamp that off and we'll put that oh, I did not ink that very well let's try that again I think my granny apple green needs to be re-inked Okay, that moved a little bit, so I'm just gonna put it back. And again, don't worry about those little holes. It's gonna be all okay, I promise. All right, so let's do one in here, like that. And then maybe just a little here. going overboard probably but one there okay so now I'm gonna take the little vein part we're gonna go over these while I still have them attached and grainy apple green definitely needs to be re-inked and this one and one more here Okay, and then I need the smaller one. And then we're gonna make the magic happen. So I'm gonna pick this up with this. Use a little bit of granny apple green here. 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 And then one more, it does look like it moved again, so let me fix that. There we go, and here. That's a good thing too, this is very forgiving. So, hi Shirley. All right, so now I've got that all stamped, right? We're gonna do a little more stamping, but I wanna show you the magic of this. So what we're gonna do is remove that piece, that's the um, removable piece, right? And we're going to go ahead and layer this one on top of a piece of granny apple green. But now we wanna use the real adhesive. So it stays put. I'm gonna center that. And then I'm gonna go ahead, use real adhesive again. And we're gonna layer that. Oh, you gotta make sure you get it in the right position. I'm gonna layer that on top of this. Now see how it covered all those holes? And it just kinda of skips because it's that little piece in the middle, right? So it's kind of cool looking, right? That's kind of what we refer to as, in this case, double stamping, because I only had two pieces, but sometimes you'll do triple stamping, so you would have had another layer of green and white on top, and you would have taken those two green layers out and layered all three pieces together, and then you would have triple stamping, but I just did double stamping today. Oop. And I'm gonna go ahead, attach this to the base like so. All right, so now I'm going to, 
I need another green leaf here. I'm going to actually try. I have two grainy apple greens. That one's really getting low. Let's see if this one's any better. Use this one. And we're going to go ahead and do the same thing we did before. We're going to stamp off and then stick that there. Okay. And while I have it, I'm going to do the large green one here. Okay. And then I'm going to clean this off. And clean the stem off because we're going to switch colors. Put this out of the way. We're going to grab the flirty flamingo. Like I said, I'm going to switch this up a little bit. All right. So ink this up. Stamp off. I'm going to do two of this one. So we're going to position them so that they're back to back here again so I can get the punch in at them very easily. And we'll do the stem. Ooh, that one kind of came out interesting. I might have to re-stamp that one. Because it looks very strange. See that? I mean, it's it's a look. It could be fun. But I'm going to go ahead and... You know, maybe I'll leave it. Let's just see. I'm going to punch these out. Okay. Now I'll punch out the green one. Okay. And then we need a sentiment. So I'm going to grab the nice long Love You Lots. I love the font in this stamp set. Oh, good. I'm glad you like that one. It is a fun technique. It's really forgiving, too, which is kind of cool. All right, we're going to do that. Then I'll grab the Memento Black. I'm going to ink that up and we're going to stamp it on a piece of crumb cake. Put that in the middle. Perfect. And then I can do some banner ends. You could use your banner punch if you want to as well. I'm just going to go ahead and do it the old fashioned way. Just do a little slit in the middle and then corner to center and corner to center like so. All right, so now we can, whoop, we can layer these on top here, but I want to have a little bit of color underneath them. So we're going to, I'm going to stick this one under here and see if that shading doesn't look okay. All right, so I'm going to kind of put them under there like this. I don't know. What do you think? Should I redo that piece? I kind of feel like, um, oh, you know what? The last one, I didn't even do the veining. I just did them full strength. So hold on, because I want them to stand off a little bit. So let's just try something here. We just did pink, right? Let's do full strength. No veining and see if I like that better. All right, I'm going to be brave and try and get that right on top of the punched piece, which is not super difficult, but apparently more difficult than I thought. Um, do I have any more flirty flamingo over here? I do not, but I have some over here. So let's try that again. All right, much easier to stamp and then punch. There we go. So it's nice and bold, which is what I want. Like that, whoa. And then we'll switch to the green. I'll do that on this piece. There we go. 
gonna try one more. That one was a little inconsistent. There we go. All right. So now we can take our punch, punch this out, and then punch this out. And I'll just cut this down a little bit so I can get it into the punch. And we'll punch that one. All right, so now let's try this again. A little bit more contrast between the two. I'm gonna position that there, like so. Then we're gonna do this one like that, and this one like this, and that one down here. Okay, so the best way I find to do this, because I want to kind of pop those up so they stand off a little bit, I'm going to actually pick them all up as one unit and flip it. And then we will kind of add some adhesive to stick them into. Whoop. <laughs> well, that was ineffective, wasn't it? that under here and since I moved them all around let's just make sure we like the way they're positioned I think that works so I'll just add a little bit of adhesive here to kind of tie them all together and then I'm going to use dimensionals to pop up the whole layer and that will help stick them all together too all right so now Take those off and flip it over. Put that like so. Then we're gonna do a little bow for this. And then we will be done. We just have embellishments to add, which again, I won't be able to do because I left them at home or I brought them home because they are retired. Silly me for cleaning out my studio so quickly ready for the new stuff you guys it's actually it was supposed to arrive yesterday and now it just says on its way and expected today but it doesn't say out for delivery so i'm not going to get my hopes up but i'm really hoping it comes today so i can do some prep work for the catalogs that need to go out this week all right so i'm going to go ahead and just use a little glue dot here And we'll stick that kind of in that little crevice here right and then we'll add some cute little embellishments and then you have the finished card so you can see the different ones the green's kind of cool too but i kind of like adding the pink it just adds a pop of color plus it then does the bonus of coordinating with the other cards which i super love to do i love a coordinated set of cards i think it's so fun so much fun so um we'd add some embellishments you can see i did couple here and one up the top there um, but there's our finished cards so this is the one you'll get you'll get the pink one if you do the card kits so those will be shipping out like I said at the end of the week or even earlier if you don't have the embellishments like I said a $50 order gets you the embellishment the full pack of embellishments are free otherwise you'll get the twine you need and all the pre-cut dot embossed pieces to be delivered to your door as a little thank you gift for shopping with me this month and like i said if your order is over 50 i will include the embellishments and you have until friday to um, still take advantage of that just use the host code when you check out and i will automatically send you those kits so thank you so much for watching with me again today and for joining me i hope you had a fun or learned a tip or two and have a fun afternoon planned and hopefully you'll join me again next month for actually i don't know when i'm going to do the virtual class next month because i oh actually no i think i will be home i think so it'll be march uh, may 29th will be the next one and i will be home i will be just home from my trip to norway so i'll have lots to share um and yeah we'll see you then thanks so much for joining me today have a wonderful afternoon and we'll see you again soon bye for now